What's up, you guys? Go on, Barracuda here. And this is part two of story time two. I got enough comments on my last video, so I know you guys like this. So, let's get right into it. These are the other instances that happened to me on 43 Elm Street, apartment 1W. One of the things that happened was the basement door opened by itself. Must have happened about six or seven times. And I mean, we were like, okay, what the hell? We didn't want that to happen anymore. So basically, we just decided to put our couch in front of it. I mean, we had two cats. Simon and Boo Boo. The basement door opened, they would run downstairs. And there was about, God, over a hundred places for them to hide. So, you know, we didn't want them to run downstairs. After about six or seven times of it opening by itself, we decided to put our couch in front of it. It didn't open after that. So, that was, uh, that was fortunate. When you have a problem, you do away with the problem. That's how we did it. Number two, cold spots. Now, if you guys don't know ghosts as well as I do, when you feel a cold spot, that usually means there is a spirit there. You can also feel a presence. <clears throat> so, yeah, we felt cold spots in that place. Um, another one, and I'm sure you guys have had this. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? That's what it felt like. Feeling like you're being watched from like the end of the bed. We didn't really have a bed in our bedroom. We had two bedrooms. But my PS2 that I had at the time was in the living room. So we slept in the living room, so I wake up in the middle of the night or early morning. I got my PS2 right there. That was what happened. Felt like you were being watched from the end of the bed. Number four, final one on this list. Um, there was, like I told you, the basement door would open by itself. And we have a light down there. I go in, back and forth, the light fixture in the basement room starts swinging by itself. Now, <clears throat> I know this isn't the most scary story in the world, but I guarantee you, if you actually live through it, I guarantee you, you see shit like this happening, you get scared and you're like, what the hell is going on? It's very scary when you go through it. Words and pictures can't really do what you really feel when you live through it. They just can't really project as much fear as you should have if you were really in the situation. They just can't give you the satisfaction of being there. First hand. It's just the way it is. When you experienced it firsthand, it's a hell of a lot different. Way different. But those are the things that happen to me. Please 
everyone who watches this, leave a comment in the section below so I can tell you about the other things that have happened to me in my other apartments. Because as I said in the last video, I got a million of them. So please, leave a comment in the section below telling me what you think of this video and what you think of what happened to me. Until next time, this is Gohan Barracuda signing off. You all take